IELTS Review Program for Registered Nurses. This program is specifically designed for all registered nurses who want to come and work as a registered nurse in Australia. Introduction The English Language Anyone from a non-English speaking country needs to take an English test when they want to come and work as a registered nurse in Australia. Well, not everyone knows it, but English language is quick and easy to learn. English language is a skill and that means that the more you use it, the better you become. Let's take for example walking. By the time you were born, you didn't have any idea at all how to walk and until you start crawling. At the age of two, you start walking. At the age of five, didn't you run? Take for example talking. At the age of two, you started to utter very simple words. You improved at the age of three. And at the age of five, how did you talk? What about cooking? The first dish that you cook wasn't as good as the second one. You tried to add some new ingredients until your food becomes more delicious. You become professional cook at some stage. Now, let's talk about your driving skills. The first time you sit down in a vehicle, you are so nervous and apprehensive. You have to be crazy not to be scared. But as you drive every day and learn new techniques, didn't you want to learn how to drift? It is the same as the English language. The more you talk using it. The more you speak the language every day, the more you read English books and newspapers. The more you write emails and text messages in English, the better you become. So keep calm and relax because learning English is so much fun. Now let us talk about the facts and myths of IELTS. Myth number one, some people believed that IELTS is difficult. The truth is, IELTS is no more than any other exam. The questions are straightforward. It is designed to assess how well you can use your English. Some people believe that IELTS score is better if taken in another country or others think if taken in home country. Well, the truth is, IELTS will be at the same level of difficulty wherever you take it. English proficiency won't change if taken in another country or the same country. Myth number three, writing and speaking is subjective. If your views do not match the views of the examiner, then you do not get a high mark. The truth is, examiner is assessing how well you can use your English to report information, express ideas, or argue topics. There is no wrong or right answer. Myth number four, IELTS is harder than other English tests. The truth is, Thousands of institutions and organizations accept IELTS because it is of high quality and it is a fair test. And the last but not the least, the more I practice sample test questions, the better I become. The truth is, you get better if you use English language in a daily context. I repeat, in a daily context. Speak English to colleagues, friends, and family. Write English emails and text messages. You can even start writing your diary daily in English. Read English newspapers and books. Or watch English movies and listen to English songs. Part 2 
IELTS information. We need to know that IELTS is divided into four sections, that is, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. In this review program, we will be concentrating on academic IELTS. Section 1 is listening. It takes approximately 30 minutes for you to complete the test, and there is 10 minutes transfer time for your answers. There are 40 questions and is divided into four sections. Section 1 is a conversation between two people, and Section 2 is a monologue in everyday context. Section 3 is a conversation between four people, and Section 4 is a monologue on academic context. You have to remember that one correct answer is equal to one mark, and 40 marks makes you get a band score of 9. Markings are given in whole or half bands. The second part of the test is reading. It takes approximately 60 minutes with no transfer time. There are 40 questions and is divided into three sections. Marking for reading test, one correct answer is equal to one mark, and 40 correct answers is equal to nine band score. Markings are given in whole or half bands. The third part of the test is writing, that takes approximately 60 minutes and you need to complete two tasks. Task one is for you to describe, discuss, or summarize a graph, a table, a chart, or diagram, and you need to make up 150 words. Task 2 is an essay in response to a view, an argument, or a problem, and it is for you to make 250 words. You will be marked according to your ability to organize, present, and properly compare data. Your marking is according to four criteria, which are task achievement or response, coherence and cohesion lexical resource, grammatical range, and accuracy. These four criteria will be discussed in detail as we go along. And finally, the fourth part of the test is speaking, which takes approximately 11 to 14 minutes. There are three parts of the test and is face-to-face -face and is recorded interview. Part 1 is introduction an interview which takes four to five minutes. It is basically questions on familiar topics like studies and interests. Part two is an individual long turn, which takes three to 14 minutes. The task is for the candidate will talk about a particular topic. There is one minute to prepare and make notes and one to two minutes to talk on the topic. Part 3 is a two-way discussion and further questions are asked related to the topic. Candidate must discuss abstract and ideas. You are marked on this band scores. 9 is expert user. 8, very good user. 7, good user. 6, competent user. 5, modest user. 4, limited user. 3, Extremely limited user, 2. Intermittent user, 1. Non-user, and 0. Did not attempt to take the test at all. In order for overseas nurses to work as a registered nurse in Australia, IELTS test score must be 7 and above in all parts of the test. You will know why as we proceed with this review program.